Hello, surgery peeps. I'm back. Um, it turns out there wasn't much wind. Actually, we kind of knew that because we were walking in the beautiful weather today. I'm so glad I got to show you guys those kites. The phrase hovering towards heaven is one of my favorite descriptions of kites, and it comes from um, a wonderful thing that used to be on television every year called a Christmas story. Not the one about the BB guns but the one that was written by Truman Capote, which was about his childhood with his elderly aunts. It was a beautiful, beautiful thing, and he, he describes kites thus um, at the end. See it if you can. Anyway, I wanted to clarify a couple of things. First of all, the weight that I reported represented three pounds lost since last week, and actually, uh, since I got home from Hawaii, I've lost 12 pounds. I'm really stoked about that because that hasn't been consistent with my weight loss. It's really funny because I've said in one of my posts on Vertical Sleeve Talk that I had sort of thought of myself as a slow loser. But obviously, you know, I've lost 68 pounds since starting this journey, so I'm not. But I think it's been erratic, the pattern, so that sometimes it's nothing and sometimes it's a lot. And... Hey, it all comes out great for me, I have to say that. Now, I also reported, I used the wrong word when I said binged. What yesterday, what I did was I had a bunch of carbs. I mean, and, and, and let's face it, since I'm very, very committed to the low-carb lifestyle, more and more so, because it, it gets me my results, when I go off, I'm going to eat carbs. And I went to see my sister. She and her wonderful partner, Happy, were in... Um, Boulder Creek. Boulder Creek. I always think Santa Cruz, but it's not Santa Cruz. In Boulder Creek, taking care of her daughter's uh, sort of stepchildren. And it's a wonderful place. And I haven't seen my sister since Hawaii, and I wanted to see her. And uh, we were really happy to go down there. And I think yesterday was weigh-in day, and I've kind of decided that maybe on weigh-in day I can be a little bit looser with carbs, just for one day. I'm experimenting with that concept of letting myself just be a little bit relaxed and have, you know, not have to think and plan and measure. And normally I would have taken my my unjury chicken soup ready, with me, ready to mix with hot water. I would have weighed out some protein to have with me. And I just thought, you know, if my sister wanted to go out for pizza, I'll go out for pizza. I hadn't had pizza yet, really. And so that was going to be a new and different thing. And I just wanted to hang out and do whatever came our way. I didn't go out of my way, you know, looking for carbs to eat. But you know, I didn't have to look far because my sister's a wonderful baker. And she made some chocolate cupcakes. And I had a little mini cupcake while we were there. I was teaching her to use her iPhone. And we were working hard. So I had that while we were working. And then I had the top of one piece of pizza. That's it. A little bit of the crust. I was worried about how bread does work with my sleeve. So I just had the topping of one piece of pizza. And then we took a fortuitous wrong turn on our way home and ended up in Santa Cruz, where one of our very, very favorite ice cream places, Mary Ann's, is. And we went, and I had a scoop. Well, I paid dearly, kind of, because I felt pretty queasy and sick all the way home. It's a very curvy, curvy, curvy ride over the hill from Santa Cruz, and that probably was a little bit too much ice cream and sugar at once. First time I've ever felt what I would call sort of dumping. I mean, I didn't throw up. I didn't have diarrhea or anything, but I just didn't feel that great. And I knew I would have no trouble being back on the carb train today, and that's been absolutely true. I've done my usual thing. I've probably had about 12 carbs so, much, so far today. I'll have some vegetables or fruit or something um, as my dinner, just because I'm trying to promote that. So I don't want to call that a binge. I just want to call that what I did that day. <laughs> and I lost a pound anyway. Surge. So <laughs> the thing that I really want to talk about, though, is I'm I'm doing some soul searching and some internet googling. You know all about that, don't you, Melanie? <laughs> about the whole uh, net carb thing because that's how I've decided to go. I like the idea of subtracting fiber from the carbohydrate and having that be your actual carb, and then. You mentioned sugar alcohols, Melanie, and I had never really looked into that, so I started doing some research. Actually, I did it bass backwards. My husband, the darling that he is, he, I had heard, I mentioned, I remember seeing, actually, that um, Mr. Derwin had had 
the Werther's <laughs> sugar-free candy. And I thought, wow, I wonder if that's low carbon. I wonder if that's good, you know, because I've always loved Werther's butterscotch. I love butterscotch and caramel and, you know, all that stuff. Well, he brought me some the other day, and I was reading the label, and I noticed, much to my chagrin, that there were 15 grams of carbs in five of them. But I thought, you know, I can have one. It tastes really good. Well, as I was going to sleep that night, I kind of was looking at the label, and I noticed this thing here that says zero sugar carbs, zero impact carbs. And my eyes went zing. <laughs> So I read this and it says, for those watching their carbs, count zero grams as sugar alcohol, sugar alcohols have a minimal impact on blood sugar. And I was like, wow, that's what Melanie meant by, blood, by sugar alcohols. So it's carbs minus fiber minus sugar alcohols. Well, there's 14 grams of sugar alcohols, which means 15 minus 14 equals one gram of carbs in five of these puppies. Well, I admit, the next day I went a little bit overboard because they taste really good. And I had like 15 of them during the day. Then I started Googling. Googling can be a very dangerous thing. I think we all know that. And I read a couple places that kind of dispute that. They say that this little label here, the zero impact carb thing, is something created by the manufacturers of the foods that have these sweeteners in them, that have the sugar alcohols, in order to lure us into feeling safe eating them. And that their recommendation on a couple of different places would be to divide the number of sugar alcohols in half and subtract that, which, it, which meant I'd have 22 grams of carbs instead of like three. Okay, so that was pretty different. <laughs> <laughs> so that has me really confused, and I, I would love to get to the bottom of this, and if any of you have a lot of knowledge or can point me in the direction of some, some information about why, why it has come to be that sugar alcohols are not considered true carbs. I know that Atkins, as far as I was able to determine what the little bit I did look at that night, um, does subtract sugar alcohols from from the carbs to get the net carbs. So I would love that to be true. Not that I'm going to eat 15 again. I think you know eating 15 of anything probably isn't that healthy. Softener. And although the one thing, as Michael just mentioned, it does mention that having it in excess can have a laxative effect. And we all, now that we think psyllium may not be that great, considering it caused Melanie pain. <laughs> oh, the pain of that. Uh, I didn't mind having that be true, <laughs> okay. Although I will say, I, my doctor has recommended Banafiber. I've been using it three times a day. I put it in my morning protein shake, I put it in one of my bottles of water, and I put it in my evening injury chicken soup. And it has been working, not super well, but fairly well. One of the reasons I'm really excited about maybe being able to subtract the sugar alcohols is that my calcium chews, which I have been really, really moaning about the fact that there's four carbs in each chew, and I'm taking these for my supplement health, guys, not because they taste good or anything, and I've really resented having to count these carbs. Well, it turns out, when I really looked, there are three grams of sugar alcohol in each of them. So if you really can subtract that, there's only one gram of carbs in each. And I can feel a little bit better about the fact that I have to take these mofos every day. Okay? So there's my current dilemma and my, my constant ride down the carb trail. So tell me what you know. Meanwhile, I feel great. What can I say? I have tons of energy. I've never, I've never seen me like this. What can I say? I haven't I either. It. <laughs> Since I, I met I you. I can actually, sometimes when we're out walking, Michael gets tired before I do. Me, and also, guys, look for a new person coming soon to your, your YouTube, and that is my husband, Hollow Leg Michael. I think maybe he's becoming this person because he feels me breathing down his neck now that I am 212 pounds and he is 207 pounds. I'm going to catch him. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back soon. I'm probably going to do my video on Thursday this week. Cause remember, I'm going camping at the Gorge on Friday. This is a huge non-scale victory for me, so I'm very excited about it. See you soon.